Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Evie Maiolo, Thermomix Consultant, and today I wanted to share my top five tips when it comes to your measuring cup. The new measuring cup that comes with the TM6 is made from a very durable material, which exceeds international food safety standards. This measuring cup, or MC as it's called for short, can be used for a number of purposes. The first one, is it can be used to measure a pour. So my first tip is if you look inside, you will see a 100 mil marking near the top and a 50 mil marking near the bottom. So if you're wanting to measure any small quantities of liquid without having to use your scales, or you're wanting just to measure out in mils rather than grams, then use your measuring cup. It's a very handy tool so that you're not having to pull out measuring spoons or Pyrex jugs to measure small amounts of liquid. The pouring spout makes it really easy then to pour that liquid into your bowl without any spills or mess. My second tip is about how to clip and unclip the measuring cup in an easy manner. The measuring cup comes with two clips at the bottom and my tip is to go from the back first. So opposite the pouring spout, clip the back clip inside your lid and then gently pushing back against that clip, simply lower the measuring cup in place. Now the benefit of the measuring cup clipping on is that when you take your lid off your Thermomix, your measuring cup isn't going to clatter over your floor. It also holds it in place so that it's not going to jiggle around or bounce off. So to repeat the mechanism in reverse, to unclip it, grab it, push gently towards the back clip, lift it up and remove. My third tip is about how to direct steam from your Thermomix. So if you have a look at your measuring cup, it actually has a lip around here where the pouring spout is there's two little gaps in that lip now those two little gaps allow you to direct the steam that's coming out of your bowl so what you would do let's say for example your thermomix is under a cupboard and you're wanting the steam to move away from the cupboard or towards your range hood all you do is you pop your measuring cup onto your lid and you turn the spout so that the spout is facing where you want your steam to be directed. Another feature, which is my fourth tip, is how to use the measuring cup to aid in emulsifying. If you're making something like a mayonnaise in the Thermomix and it's asking you to drip the oil in at a very slow rate over three or four minutes while the eggs are whipping below, you don't have to stand above your lid and hold the bottle to drip the oil. Up to the top of this rim on your lid is approximately 250 mils of oil, which is what is used in most standard mayonnaise recipes. When your measuring cup is in place, this little gap that is used to direct the steam is also actually useful for allowing liquids in. So if you look underneath, you'll see there's some gaps and there's those gaps that allow the steam out, but they will also allow liquid in. So if you fill your lid to the top with the oil, it will slowly drizzle in through the lid into the emulsifying liquid below. This is also handy if you want to do something like squeeze lemon into the bowl without removing the lid. You squeeze your lemon with the juice landing on the lid, the liquid will drip inside the bowl and any seeds that come out of the lemon will be trapped on the top of the lid so they don't go inside with your food. Now my fifth top tip with the measuring cup is how to remove discoloration. So if you've ever cooked with cumin or turmeric, you may find that your lid or your measuring cup get a slight yellow tinge to them and sometimes if you're using a lot of spices this can be quite a fluorescent color not to worry 
If you want to remove the discoloration, there's a few ways you can do that. You can either put your measuring cup in the dishwasher as it is dishwasher safe, like the other uh, parts of the Thermomix, or you could spray it with a little bit of vinegar and put it out in the sun or on a windowsill in the sun. Or the other option is to make a bicarb paste, just pop that on and let it sit for a few hours, which will remove the discoloration. Thanks for watching my video. I hope that these tips have been useful and I look forward to seeing you in my next top five tips video.